So here's my quick savings update for February 2022. I'll take you through what's been going on if you can get better interest rates anywhere right now. Well, what's been going on? Let's put this in context, shall we? Inflation is up again, 5.4%, the highest it's been in 30 years. I mean, that means that in our accounts, all of our money, anywhere it's sitting right now, it's losing money, any cash savings. But it's still really important for us to have some easy access emergency funds available to us that we can get to. Even if it is less than inflation, the best rate it possibly can be is still the best thing we can aim for right now. So what's been going on in the world? Well, the Bank of England interest rate rise that happened in December. Lots of people saying, will we see interest rates increase? And broadly, we haven't. In fact, you know, every kind of couple of days, every day, I'm checking the best rates out there across easy access, one year fixes, notice accounts, all these kind of things, and updating them over on becleverwithyourcash.com. I've actually seen things start to drop a little bit. Those best one year fixes were around the 1.3, 1.4% now, 1.2%. The best easy access accounts got up to 0.75% at one point and suddenly went down below 0.7. Now they've kind of rallied a little bit. 0.71 is the best one you can get, but we haven't seen any sort of dramatic increase. You know, 0.7% before the interest rate hasn't become 0.85%. Okay, so we haven't seen those increases at the top level. There have been some increases in some places, not many, but they're very, very low paying accounts. But if your money was already in them, you know, 0.15% extra and 0.01% isn't great okay so they're still not worth just because you, you might have a letter saying we've increased your interest rates doesn't mean you should stick there have a look around have a shop around check out my video for the best savers accounts for 2022 taking you through some of the best places for your cash and make sure you do check out the link below to take you through to the blog becleveryourcash.com with the latest accounts but there are a couple of interesting things to tell you about right now which might give you a slightly better return the first one of these is with virgin money now, Virgin Money has been one of my top picks for saving accounts for a long time. Their current account, the M Plus current account, because it's offered 2.02% on the first £1,000 you have saved in that account. And in fact, you could open multiple ones if you wanted to. So you potentially could get 2.02% on two grand, three grand, four grand, maybe 15 grand, 20 grand, if Virgin would let you open up that many. In theory, they could, but they could all very well say, hang on, hold off, you have got too many here. But there was no limit in theory, okay? So it's been a decent option for you to get a best interest rate for probably the last, well, definitely last year, maybe the last couple of years. Um, that has got slightly better for some customers because they've just launched a brand, brand new bank switching promotion. Uh, bank switching, as I'm sure you know, I've got another video you can check out if you haven't seen it or know much about it already, is where you move your existing current account into a new current account and you close the old current account as part of this switching process. And in return, the new bank gives you a bit of cash, a bit of an incentive to do that. They're trying to bribe you to join them. Ditch Gerald, guys, join them. Now, normally Virgin uh, Money gives you some free wine, uh, but what they're giving you right now is a 100 pound Virgin Experience voucher, which I'm not massively a fan of. Anyway, 100 pound uh, voucher, plus a 3% boost for 12 months, fixed boost for 12 months on that first account. That increases the interest you're getting from 2.02% to 5.02%, which cannot be beaten right now. This is, you know, that is a, a cracking rate for a grand. Yes, you're only going to make 50 pounds and 20 pence over a year, but at least it's close to inflation on that 1,000 pounds. If you've got some emergency money, best rate you possibly can. This is definitely worth thinking about. Not without its kind of drawbacks though. The switching offer requires you to have a 1,000 pounds in the linked savings account that comes with it paying 0.35% until you've gone and the switch is completed. So it could be 14 days, 28 days, whatever it might be. So not only do you have to have a grand to really maximize that 5.20%, you have to have another grand in the other account at least for that first month. So that might be a struggle for some of you. And of course you might already have one of these accounts, in which case you can't get that extra 3%. But that's definitely worth thinking about. And do check out my switching video, uh, which I released just yesterday, taking you through the best deals, not just with Virgin Money, but other bank as well right now. You might decide you'd rather go for one, which gives you more cash upfront um, and, rather, and focus on your savings elsewhere. The other big change that's happened is over at Nationwide from the 1st of February, 2022. They are going to uh, increase the rate of their regular saver, the Flex regular saver. It's currently 2%, it's gonna go up to 2.5%. And whether you're an existing or a new customer, you will get that increased rate. Your money will uh, earn more for the duration of the rest of that 12 months. You, regular saver, as I'm sure you know, you open it up and you pay money into it for 12 months. After 12 months, it expires, it ends, and the money is paid out into a separate account. If you want another regular saver, you have to open up a new one. 
hopefully with a better rather than worse rate. But that's how they work. Now, this one, the Nationwide Flex Regular Saver, there are some conditions with it. You can only pay up to £200 into it every month, which is okay, but not, it's not the best possible uh, option. But £200 every single month, you can pay less if you want to. Um, and the other thing is here, it's only open to people who currently hold an account with Nationwide. So you have to already have a bank account with them. Uh, but again, there are some switching offers in the other video I mentioned that might be worth looking at. If you haven't already got a Nationwide account, get in the free cash, open up this regular saver uh, and getting that money. This is online or app only as well, which is a bit of a frustration for some of you, I know. But anyway, a couple of promising signs of interest rates on the up. Maybe we'll see other banks do something similar. We'll see other things grow up. I will obviously keep you updated every single month in my savings account update. And the only other thing to tell you about here, I think of note, is that Chip, the savings app, and I will do a full video comparing it with Plum very, very soon. Uh, this one is uh, now free. The auto savings option, which I'm a big fan of to help you save, doesn't cost you a thing anymore. Uh, once you do that, basically it connects to your current account, money moves over, um, great way to build your boost your pot. And not only that, you can put that into a linked savings account, which pays 0.61%. It was 0.7%. So it drops in the last few weeks to 0.61%, but that's still not bad. If you are using any of these extra features, you may as well get that extra interest. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in savings, make sure you check out these other videos.